What's good with y'all collective? Welcome to the Waves and Mystery Tower Room. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. The donations link will be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with this read to see what's going on for the current energy. Okay. So we have the world card for the first card to spread. So something is completely finishing up. So there's a cycle that's closing. I'm also getting that there's something to do with the retrograde that is coming to an end. So a lot of you out there are going to feel like something is picking up, like the speed of a situation is going to be picking up speed, like a situation is going to be picking up speed. Something to do with something completely finishing and closing permanently. I'm also getting a lot of you out there being left alone because the truth has clearly been seen on who you are. Your character is, is a great, like you're somebody to be respected. You're somebody to be appreciated. And you are somebody that is to be honored is what I'm getting here. You could be a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio with the fixed energy here. You are somebody that holds an incredible, strong personality. This is something that can be felt the minute you enter a room. You have a strong aura around you. I'm also getting that you're uh, heavily protected and you're also heavenly protected too from your angels because you got angels up here protecting you. You got the birds and stuff like that. You know, you got the animals, you got spirit animals protecting you and everything. So I see a lot of you out there taking care of yourself, taking care of your spirit. So there's a lot of taking care of your spirit going on here. Like you taking care of yourself. That's the energy that's going on right now is a lot of you out there taking care of yourself. That's what I'm getting. But there's something that is indeed completing with the world. So what's going on for the current energy right now, Holy Spirit? What's going on? Yeah, the Ten of Wands reversed. So there's a lot of burdens that's being released. Some of you out there could be receiving some good news with the Page of Cups. It's all about a message. So some of you out there could be receiving good news in regards to you being free. Yeah, exactly. Eight of Swords reverse. Something that's coming to an end. Just like I said, some of you, you may be a Scorpio. So a lot of you out there don't have to be, but this is a situation that is clearly ending that has made you feel restricted. So this was a situation in regards to you. I feel better this way, like how I can explain with the camera. It's like awkward whenever you can't, they don't have nowhere I could go underneath the desk because they got like a, uh, that table's right there, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that was an awkward position sitting there. Y'all like that, you know, I'd much rather be laid back like this, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, so a lot of you out there are definitely coming out of a situation that made you feel trapped and restricted in a way. This could have been some type of psychological entrapment or there was a situation that kept on occurring over and over and over and over and over that was putting you in your head with the nine of swords that's officially ending. So whatever you was concerned about, some of you out there had some legitimate concerns. This is something that has clearly been seen. I keep getting a sense that people that have been watching closely that may have been involved in the situation trying to keep you trapped here, trying to keep you in your head. A lot of them are giving you your respect that you well deserving of and they're backing off of you. It's because you're a soldier, because if you look at this, this person on a death card right here, right, that right there will represent a soldier because you have armor on. So a lot of you out there, you could be, some of you out there could have fought in a war. You may be a Scorpio, you could have fought in a war. Shout out there to the veterans. Thank you very much for your service. Okay, it's greatly appreciated. So a lot of you out there, you may be a Scorpio. This is the 13th card. So some of you out there, you may be 31. Flip 13 backwards. So some of you out there may be a Scorpio and you may be 31. You may be in your early, th well, that would be the early 30s. And you may have fought in a war. Once again, thank you very much for your service. You could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could have served. It's greatly appreciated. It's greatly respected. And I'm also getting a lot of you out there was a warrior. And you was a soldier throughout this situation here. And this is something else that's being seen. The world card could every now and then represent the internet. So some of you out there may have a job in regards to being over the internet. Because that's what a lot of people are doing these days. You may be inspiring some of the people here. 
that has tried to come up against you to get on the internet to do something productive with their organization or something that they're doing with their job. Say for instance, I put this in one of my other videos a long time ago. Hear me out when it comes to this. You, you know how I've been picking up law enforcement uh, energy here lately? But not everybody is going to be involved in abusing their power. And the ones that was doing that, it can be stopped. Okay, because to be honest with you, if people really love that job, why do they want to risk it to lose it and try to mess with an innocent person? See what I'm saying? But here's an inspirational tip out there. This is something that I will provide somebody with that was involved with this, but yet they could change their whole career and get paid more money. If money really matters to these people, they can legitimately get paid more money. And I'm about to give a tip to where they could become inspired by it. Check it out. When it comes to, you remember how they used to have the television show Cops? And how they literally had a cameraman in the car and they would record the incidents and yet it would be all over television? Why don't your community do something like that? Create a YouTube channel and make it law enforcement live PD or something like that when it comes to that. If money really matters that much, that would be the proper way of earning money without risking their position. Think about it. If some of you out there are over the Internet and you're making your money that way, some of you, you may not be making that much money, but it don't matter how much you make or how, how this or how that. It don't matter about that. That's your business. That is your right to your privacy, okay? Some of you out there barely have enough to eat. But as long as you have something that could provide you with food, it could provide you with service. Like if you have internet services and stuff like that, the way you get around, that's all that matters. Some of you out there don't let money control you. You don't let money get to your head. You're a humble, you're, you're a very humbled individual after everything that you went through. But just hear me out when it comes to this, since I've been picking up that energy lately. Even to the ones that has been doing that, they can immediately change something and transform how they've been doing things. That way they could keep themselves out of trouble. This is some serious stuff. This is not something to laugh at or look at look upon as a joke. To the ones that want to laugh, cool. But they're gonna have some people that actually take my information and say, man, that man is smart. Because think about it, you're not only getting paid. For your career as a law enforcement official, you could be getting paid as a law enforcement official and having a YouTube channel. That's the way I look at that. Because people would be interested in watching what's going on in the community. Some people get a thrill out of watching that. I used to love watching that all the time on the TV a long time ago when they had cable. That was back when they had cable. They had 20-something channels. It was a long time ago. But a lot of people would love watching that. Like make you a local television station. But that would be something right there, but that somebody could do something productive. They could do something that's very successful. I mean, if money is everything, get on YouTube. If money is everything, get on Instagram. Some of you TikTok, whatever it may be. Facebook. Now, a lot of people use Facebook when it comes to organizations and businesses. But I promise you right now, some of you out there don't have some of these people that's in regards to your community on YouTube platform. Just like I said, bro, some of them individuals could love their career. Some of them, some of them individuals could love being in the position that they're in. But yet, why risk everything? In order to lose it. Whenever they could do a lot better. That's something right there that needs to be looked at. Really sit, sit back, analyze what I'm telling you. Because there's things out there, bro, that can be transformed. There's things out there that can immediately be transformed. And to do things a bit differently. And sometimes it takes a powerful person to inspire a lot of people to do that. And just like I said before, I'm never going to let other people define who I am. I could care less if they got a thousand people versus me. I'm going to stand hard on my truth. I'm a very intimidating, outspoken individual, but I don't sit there, bully, intimidate, or do any of that 
on purpose or to do it just to get an ego stroke. I have my own beliefs and I have that right to have my own beliefs. I have a right to be free. My rights are not to be in the eight of swords. My rights are to be free. My rights are to be an inspirational. Not to get other people to follow me either because that's not a true inspiration to start with. Somebody that's a true born leader won't have other people following behind them. Even though they may want to follow behind them. But I'm going to tell you right now, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'm not here to tell you to be who I want you to be. I'm here to tell you how to inspire yourself and to do things a bit differently with your life because that's your reality. That's a true inspirational right there. That's a, somebody that is the real deal. And it takes one person to do it. Scorpio is all about transformation, evolution. That's all about the Tower of Judgment and the Death Card and the Tarot. That's what Scorpio represents. The Tower can represent transformation, like something can represent ending. Then you got the Tower. That's the transformation and judgment. That's all about rising to a higher level of consciousness. Rising and ascending to a higher level. That's what those three cards that represent Scorpio and the Tarot mean. So if some of you out there are Scorpio, you may be transforming a lot of things with the Eight of Swords reverse there. It don't have to be. But this is what I have here with this major. And we also have the World card. You can also be an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. That's the other three fixed signs be, be besides Scorpio here. And just like I said before. If money really means a lot to these individuals, why risk things to get them in trouble? Because that right there, bro, is not going to get them with money. It's going to cost them more money. It's going to cost rather than pay. That's the facts. It's going to cost rather than pay. And who wants to run out of money with doing something wrong? That's something right there, bro, to be questionable. Even though people may be angry and want to fly off an impulsive neuron response to the brain. Hear me out. Really sit there, take a deep breath. <sighs> Breathe out, exhale as much as possible. And feel, feel the reality. Or where you're at. Feel how your mind is. Pay attention to bring awareness to what your mind is thinking at that time. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Because that train of thought. That anger. That aggressive nature. To try to always be right. That right there is going to go away. Whatever the brain was thinking that was okay, and yet it was toxic, taking that deep breath will literally reprogram the neurons of the brain and rebalance the chemicals inside the mind. That's exactly what will happen. Because that releases some type of stimulation to the brain waves. Because once the fight or flight response gets triggered within the human brain, that's where people become they get an adrenaline rush, but it can be bad. It's all in regards to what type of adrenaline rush. That's my point. Because certain adrenaline rushes can lead to danger, but it can also lead to success. Because when you're excited about something, that's what I talk about intuition all the time. The third eye, that's all about intuition. Because if you really do your research, the third eye is basically intuition. It's the ability to see. And to feel. Just how the gut is your second brain. That's the way the gut and the brain respond with each other because they're connected. There's a connecting link between the brain and the gut. Think about that. Think about that. So this will be your second brain. Because your gut can feel things. It can also sense just like the brain, whenever you get a thought out of nowhere that just pops inside your mind, that can be a sign of intuition. And yet these two are connected. That's why they got the third eye and you have 
Some people label it the, uh, that this will be the solar plexus chakra. But I represent intuition more to be connected to the heart chakra, which is the green color. So basically, intuition is right there in the chest area, but it's also in the stomach area right here. But your heart chakra is right here, but that would be, and your solar plexus is right here. Right there, if some of you out there have a V-cut, that would be by, by your V-cut. And then you have your sacral chakra, that's the growing, and then you have your root chakra, that would be the base. So a lot of you out there have uncovered the fact of what this really is. And you are a spiritual person. You are indeed a spiritual person. Especially if you're a Scorpio, you are indeed a strong spiritual person. That has the ability to transform things. And it may shock, it may be a shocker to a lot of people. But it's all because of what the ego was seeing the whole time. See, things cannot fully be seen within the physical vision of the eyes. It's the things, the energy, the aura, the frequency that can be felt within a soul level. That right there is what most don't pay attention to because of this right here. The ego is quick to react. Because think about it, the ego is the cause, the main cause of fighting, arguing, competing, bullying, harassment. That's five things right there that could get people in trouble if they don't know what they're doing. But those five things right there could become irrelevant once somebody connects to what really matters. Because once somebody has the proper balance between the ego and the soul, that right there is going to give the perfect balance of the spectrum between this side of the spectrum, which is reality, and this side of the spectrum, which is spirituality. So you have the physical and the spirit world combined together. That would be the yin and the yang. OK, that would represent the light and the dark. Once you can balance both ends out physically and spiritually, that would be the yin and the yang that will make the perfect circle of completion. That would be the world card. And what do we have right here? The yin and the yang colors here. Yin and yang colors. So a lot of you out there are coming into balance. And you're being freed from a lot of this. A lot of this toxicity here with the eight of swords reverse. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep on reading the cards. So what else is going on here, Spirit? What else is going on here, Spirit? Yeah, you're receiving some good news. Some of you out there may be receiving some good news in regards to your position, that everything is cleared up. So a lot of things are being cleared up here with the Ten of Swords reversed. Some of you out there could have been through a relentless scam. So this could have been the main reason why some of these people were against you because somebody kept on scamming somebody. They kept on lying on your name here. They kept, they kept on putting in false reports on you. But the truth is you was backstabbed and betrayed throughout this whole situation. And somebody also knows that they did something wrong when it regards to this. So I'm getting a sense of guilt. So these individuals that have betrayed you, are indeed, in fact, guilty. They do feel a sense of remorse and guilt. And they could be coming up with ways on how to clear up this misleading information about you. That's fine. That's okay. That's the proper thing to do. Because holding a grudge, that's not going to get this individual anywhere. Else. To the one that this has happened to, if this individual is evolved, they don't have a grudge to get y'all for doing that to them. Simple as that. But the thing is, allow people and let people live their life. If they have different beliefs, there's nothing in violation. There's nothing against the law. They're not bothering anybody. Even though this individual may be seen to be alone, that's the best. Now you understand why this individual is indeed alone because of somebody lying here. This right here, bro, could get people looked upon as a weirdo, as somebody that, okay, what? Well, they're not going along with the status quo. But this is also an individual that knows how to challenge the status quo. That right there is intimidating. That may have been intimidating for a while. But yet, the truth is the truth. If this individual wasn't successful, if this individual 
wasn't doing something right, they wouldn't even be in this position to make all this success or to have all this success. And if you really look at this individual that's an entrepreneur, this is somebody that may be their own business person, which is an entrepreneur that runs their own business. If you really look at this individual where they're at in their life today, you will begin to see that a lot of people support this individual that's not envious or jealous of them. So why other people should have a problem with this individual? And I'm getting the main problem was somebody relentlessly making up lies about this individual right here with the page of Pentacles reverse. This could be tips or falsified information, etc. With the page of Pentacles reverse, this could also be in regards to handwritten statements that are falsified on purpose. But yet it's what was said that was relentless and was manipulated behind the scenes to have it believable. And yet could have had people coming up against an innocent individual that's a hard worker here. They don't deserve to be attacked. They don't deserve to be harassed. Even if they do have strong spiritual beliefs, if they are in tune with spirituality, there's nothing about this individual. Like this individual is not committing no violations by having their own spiritual beliefs. They're not doing any of that. They're living in a higher calling, which is perfectly fine. This individual can also inspire a lot of people that was involved with this situation at betraying this innocent person with the Ten of Swords reverse. They can fix this problem. They can have it fixed. They can immediately switch things up as I say, you know what? It is what it is. They did do something wrong and take it back and redo something here. Simple as that. So some of you out there could be receiving some good news in regards to your money, in regards to your career. Yeah, nine of cups reversed here. It's like some of these individuals see themselves as selfish to do this to you. A lot of them are not happy about what they did to you here. Like, it, it's really hurting them. It's really hurting them for what they did to you here. Some of you out there was indeed outcasted. You felt outcasted. You felt isolated. And yet, this is you the whole time. That was kept from everybody else until people started getting word of mouth around where you're at. That you're highly successful. And you do indeed have people that support you and look up to you. Because you're doing the right thing. Some of you out there also have officials too. That look up to you. Bro, just like I said, not everybody that, that, that's in the law is going to be against somebody that's spiritual. They have people that work for them sometimes. If you really look up psychic investigators, they will literally show you. Some of them work for the sheriffs. They tell the sheriffs what where something is at when the dogs can't get to it. Like you know, you know how they got the drug dog and how they're trying to look for something and yet they can't pick it up with their scent. It may be buried underneath the ground. You are somebody out there that officials may support too. Because this is somebody right here that holds a position of a power, position of power of a badge here that may support you. And just like I said, sometimes they use people like you in case some of you out there are a powerful spiritual person, a manifester. You are somebody that knows the laws of the universe. You have this ancient royalty energy about you that is different. But you also have other people out there that support you because... They're not against that. They're not against that. So what else is going on for the current? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Some of these individuals that was involved in that may be feeling a sign of guilt. They may be feeling a heavy, guilty energy. So what's going on right now, Holy Spirit? What's going on right now, Holy Spirit? One more shuffle. The Queen of Swords. 
something about a Gemini maybe stepping up and saying something. Yeah, Page of Swords here. The Three of Wands, yeah, just like I said. So there's a lot of energy that's clearing up because a pattern has been spotted. There's a pattern that has been spotted, but yet you are spotting the patterns, and this could be coming in the form of dreams. Some of you out there may be seeing a number 111. That's an angel number. Some of you out there have Archangel Michael by your side. He's associated with the number 11 because if you look at 1111, that would be St. Michael the Archangel's number. And that's also the gateway of a spiritual ascension. So some of you out there are having some type of spiritual ascension. You're looking towards a brighter future. That's, that who, Whoever has been going through this, you're looking towards a brighter future. Yeah, the Seven of Wands, you're protected too. You're looking towards a lot of protection with the Seven of Wands here. The Six of Swords reverse. I really don't see y'all moving or going anywhere. So I mainly see y'all staying where you're at because you're protected with the Seven of Wands here. So I see a lot of you looking forward to a lot of protection coming your way. In regards to something here, yet a magician, this is something that you have manifested. You could be a Virgo, a Gemini with a magician. The Nine of Wands reverse. So a lot of you out there will be dropping your guard. But yet you also have something else that's providing you with a lot of protection. This could be indeed spiritual protection. Your guides are telling you not to leave. That you're fine just where you're at. Because you have chosen to stand hard in your power. You chose to stand hard in your power. That's what I mean. And yet your spirit guides are trying to tell you, this is your angels are trying to tell you that everything is okay. That you are in fact protected. We have the seven and we also have three. Some of y'all, there may be 37. I forgot the number of the magician. So some of y'all, there may be 36, 30, uh, 36 to 37 or 39. Or these numbers may be a significant number to you. You've been spotting the patterns of 111. We also have the Eight of Cups reverse. This could be a regards to somebody walking back, coming back towards you too. But something is trying to guide you to not leave. With the Six of Swords reverse and the Eight of Cups reverse. It's like your guide to telling you that everything is okay. Because that's why you could look forward to a brighter future. But this don't involve you moving. This is involving you staying right where you're at because there's protection on the way to you with the Eight of Cups reversed here. We also have the Nine of Cups reversed here, a lot of unhappiness. The Four of Swords here, so there's a lot of peace of mind. So a lot of you out there are having a lot of peace of mind restored. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Nine of Swords, so there's a lot of anxiety surrounding all this right here. But it's like your guys are trying to tell you that everything is okay. Somebody may be trying to do some type of projection. But it's like spirit don't want you to leave this position. Spirit don't want you to leave this position. They want you to stand hard and keep on standing your corner, stand in your corner and fight your ground because this right here is going to bring in a lot of abundance. It's going to bring in a lot of peace. That there's actually people on your side that see where you're coming from. Yeah, the seven of cups reversed here. You clearly see what's going on. The five of wands reverse here. There's a lot of conflict that's going to be resolved. That's why spirit's telling you to remain right where you're at. You don't have to move. And some of you out there was in the energy whether or not if you should move or not. But I'm telling you right now, bro, these people know that they was guilty for doing something to you. And if you're afraid of you calling something out and speaking up on something and using your powers to the extreme in order to protect yourself, and you feel like somebody is against you, that may be a hater or something, you may have had some people that may have looked at you that was jealous at one time, but yet they see exactly where you're coming from. They also know that you come from a very broken background. And this is something right here that they are giving you respect for. It's like some type of hatred has turned into love, if that makes any sense. Because they're not happy about coming up against you like that. It's like I said, but it may be a group here. A group that, that's not happy at all about coming up against you. Because some of them actually have guilt and remorse. Remorse. They don't want to do this to you anymore. The five of wands reversed. I'm getting some people want to respect you. Some people want to give you your respect here. 
That's like they know that they was guilty for doing something underhandedly to you here. But they also want to put, uh, they want to bury the hatchet. They want to bury the hatchet where all of this is, is just over with. And not escalate it even further. That's what I'm getting. That would be the smart thing to do, y'all. I'm telling you. And we also have the page of swords here. Justice reversed. Okay, so I was talking about this earlier. These individuals may be in their head at knowing that they made a bad investment to come up against you like that. Just like I said, man, not everybody out there is going to hold a grudge just because of people that abused their position here. Sometimes it takes somebody to stand this hard in their power to teach a lesson. Because if these individuals really think about it, okay, most people are scared of them. The minute they see their unit, the minute they see their handcuffs, the minute they see them in person, they have this overwhelming, fearful energy. But yet you are somebody that's not scared of them. But that right there is triggering the exact opposite effect. Because when people are scared of them, that right there is not going to give them a wake up call. That's not going to get them to be aware of what they may have been doing wrong here. OK. Because just like I said, you have power also. You don't have to hold a position of power of a badge to be powerful. You can hold a position of power just by doing what you're doing here for your job. And just like I've been picking up lately, if you are indeed a psychic and you know about spirituality, that can be used to your greatest advantage and highest good in order to put situations like this to rest with the four swords here because you're not going to stand you're not going to understand abuse. You will stand up to it with the seven of wands here. And I'm telling you, bro, like some of these individuals know that they was guilty for doing this. And I'm getting that they're going to give you your respect. We also have the emperor here. So some of you out there may be an entrepreneur that's a man. Okay. This was going on against you and your career. But there's a lot of things that's going to be cleared up here. They clearly see through the confusion. So if there was any smoke screens created about your character, they now see it themselves. And they was possibly scammed, just like I said with the Six of Pentacles reversed here. They were scammed to have them go against you and to attack you here. You're also teaching these individuals that don't believe word of mouth. You can have as much as many witness statements as you want to be taken down as evidence. But does it hold enough probable cause? There's something about not having probable cause here. There's not even enough reasonable. I mean, they could have had some type of reasonable suspicion because of what somebody said about you. But just like I said before, bro, some of these individuals could have been angry at first by watching you stand hard in your power. But it's like the more that they see you stand up, they know that you, you're doing something right here. And it's them that was doing something wrong with the Six of Pentacles reverse. Because if you was doing something wrong, bro, you would have already been convicted. But spirituality, just like I said, even if you are an entrepreneur and you talk a lot about spirituality, you cannot be convicted for that because that's not a violation. That's not breaking the law. You are somebody that is indeed serving spiritual law. So just like I've been picking up in my other reads, you're a healer to humanity. And you can also heal and fix a lot of injustice situations. A lot of situations that brought a lot of injustice, of bad investments. So whatever was invested here to try to attack you was indeed a bad investment. And these, just like I said, these individuals may be seeing it from a different perspective now. As to make a final decision to give you your new beginnings and a blessing here. This could just be a result to them leaving you alone. As I say, we respect you. This could be in regards to a handshake. Shaking your hand. Or this could be just in regards to a gesture as waving. A nod. Them no longer wanting to attack you because of who you are. Okay? Because just like I said, but this emperor right here, this is an entrepreneur that may be a man that is incredibly strong. Could be a feminine too. Lady, 
You know what I'm saying? Lady. I like when the emperor's cause because I say that. Lady. Lady. I say that. Lady. Somebody called on to that a long time ago whenever I used to say that. Lady. <laughs> Lady. Lady, you know what I'm saying? So you can be a lady, not just a man, but a lady. That's just how I say lady. Lady. How I say man, lady. That's how I say lady. That That's just the way I say it, lady. But anyways, somebody right here maybe, <laughs> somebody right here is definitely paying attention. This is the watching car. I'm telling you, bro, some of these individuals... They're in their head. They're in their head. Why would they be in their head? Why would they be in their head? That's like they know that you one heck of a fighter here with the seven of wands. You one heck of a fighter. You're literally winning over this year. Look, seven of wands and a five of wands reverse. It took all these individuals right here, bro. Yet yeah, you are somebody, you come out of nowhere, it's like Bruce Lee. So some of the law could be seeing you as somewhat like a Bruce Lee. This could be like a martial artist. Some of you out there, bro, has literally pulled the next level of Bruce Lee on this whole situation with your abilities here. It's like you literally snatching the attacks out of thin air right here. Like like, like they thought they was going to do something. Boom, like you reach out of nowhere and take it from and disarm them. Of whatever they was doing. Like this could be a violation. You disarming them of a violation. Like uh, I don't think so. And it's like they keep on trying to come at you like that. It's like they're keeping on and keeping on. Like, and like you just keep on using. This is like a martial artist tactic here. This would be in regards to Kemp. How can I say this? Aikido. Not Kemp, but Aikido. Something that Steven Seagal did. Because if you really looked at and paid attention to him. He was also a sheriff too. And um. New Orleans. He was a sheriff. I don't know uh, where he's located now, but yeah, he was a uh, law enforcement official himself. But if you really look at it, the way that he combated these tactics, bro, like with using a keto, he used his opponent's body, their weight against them, their anger against them. Whenever he would grab their wrists and turn, he's using the opponent's weight against them. So some of you out there, bro, have literally the skill of a very strong, powerful, spiritual person that you have had to combat all these activities. Everything that was going on here, you being treated unfairly with your money, you being untreated unfairly with your business, but yet you still chose to stand up against it with the seven of wands here. That's what this is. And I know a movie is a movie, right? Like how I talked about Steven Seagal. I know a movie is a movie. But hear me out when I say this. There come one time to whenever they tried to attack him. And he told it just like it was. He told it just like it was. And they respected him after I forgot what movie that was, but he told him exactly what was on his mind. I'm going to go ahead and share it to my community post. What movie I'm talking about. Even though that is a movie. You are somebody that is using some type of next level of skill here when it comes to combating these activities. It's like every bad investment that was made to destroy you, you disarmed them of it by grabbing it. As I say, nah, I don't think so. I'm going to point my finger. I'm going to show you what you're doing wrong here. And as I, as I say, uh-uh, get from around me. It's like you're grabbing the bad investment. They try to come at you with something else. You're going to take it and disarm them of that. This is all these violations that was committed upon you. Now, this could be from other people, too. That really don't know the law, but yet you a mastered magician here. You are somebody that literally disarmed all these tactics here and took it away from them and pointing your finger. 
as I say, this is what it is. This is what it is with the seven of wands here. So it's basically like you coming across as a next level of Bruce Lee, taking all these individuals down because you stand in your ground. You're not afraid. You are somebody that's a fearless individual. Some of you out there, I'm also getting a sense that some of them may be uncovering the fact that you possibly have a father figure that may have been a martial artist that they had trouble with in the past that disrespected this man. This man could be a Virgo or Aries here. Or this individual could come across as like a father figure to you. And this is somebody that you're cool with. This individual cares about you. May look up on... So, so let's say... They may look at you as family. Like you're a son or daughter to them. And some of these individuals could have had trouble... With this man. But yet he was physical whenever he fought him. And don't you know he beat up all these people physically? With the five of wands reverse. Because of them trying to disrespect him. So some of these individuals could have literally got into it. With this, this Virgo or Aries man... That is the next level of black belt. That's a martial artist. That may be a father figure here. But yet, it's, it's basically like you're doing the same thing, but on a spiritual level. It's like you're defeating all these tactics from a spiritual perspective. It's like they have no choice, bro, but to just put this to rest with the four swords here. Put this to rest because you're going to win. Seven of Wands is here. You're going to win. You're not going to back down just because they got all. This could be in regards to half of the town. You don't give a damn. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because just like I said before, fear is an illusion. And when you fight fear with fear, because that's what these individuals was using, whoever this is. When you fight fear with anger and agitation, I'm going to tell you what it's going to do. It's going to blow the situation up. It, it's going to just completely override the situation with more negativity. But when you handle it with some confidence, as I say, okay, game on. Game on. Game on. Try it again. I'll snatch that shit right out their hand again with the magician there. You, you are somebody out there, but it just don't. You're not going to back down. That's what I'm talking about. That's who I am. That's who I am. And some of you out there are being seen to be a very strong, confident individual. Because you know your power. You respect your power, but you also own your power too. You know who you are. And just like I said before, bro, it's like you literally come out the thin air and snatching an object like that. That would be disarmed. Like you disarm in this situation each and every way as possible because of your abilities. It's something to do with your finger. Because the magician is pointing his finger down like that. As I say, you're going down, bro. You keep on trying to do that to me. You're going to go down. You're going to go down. That means being fired. If they keep on with this, it's like that's how I'm looking at this. Whoever this is, this could be in regards to a boss, too, that's treating you unfairly. That's not doing things right. But yet, you're not going to be pumped out by them. See, some of these individuals think just because they're in a higher position or they're a boss, they're not the boss of you. They may be the boss of that job, but that don't give them the right to disrespect you or to talk to you like as if you're some type of slave because you're not. Bro, sometimes you have to literally get into your power and stand hard and tell people exactly like it is. I don't care what these other people be saying. Oh, well, that's what they want. Man, fuck what they want. It's about, you either going to respect me, you have no choice but to respect me because I'm going to stand up for myself and I'm going to tell it, I'm going to show it, and I'm going to do exactly what I'm called to do here. Simple as that. Yeah, you may be able to punk out these other people. I don't care how many of them that's coming up against you. And I'm also getting the sense that you have the power here, brothers, to see that you have some strings 
some intense power around you. With this magician and the three of wands, you have some intense power around you. And it's like each and every tactic that was being shown to you or they tried to do to you, you snatched it. You got it with your abilities here. You picked it up with your crown chakra and held it up in thin air like this. As I say, I got it. I got what y'all trying to do to me. I got it right here. It's like you're catching somebody's, like, let's say they go to do a jab or to, they go to do a haymaker. You block it like that. And it's like you wrap your hand around and you got them held like that. Like you have somebody held. So it's like you're freezing the situation and act like that. There's something that's being frozen. And I'm really seeing you talk to each and every one of these individuals like that as I say that I know what you did, 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 I know what all y'all try to do to me. But guess what? It's all y'all versus one person. I know I'll win. I don't care how many of y'all trying to come up against me. This is what it is because I know my rights. I know what you violated. I know exactly what you try to do to me. And guess what? I'm not going to be the one that's going to punk out or keep my mouth shut. I'm going to stand up to you. 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 All y'all combine together and take all y'all down with what I have, the powers that I have spiritually. Because spiritual powers can also be observed and analyzed from what you've been calling out physically because that's what it is. It don't matter if you have a vision or not. Some of you out there have literally documented this type of situation down in order for you to combat. You have you was called to be in this position by the higher power to fight. And there was there, there was nobody that ever fought these people legally like you did. Nobody, none of these individuals never had the balls or the tits to fight these individuals uh, legally. But yet you do. You do. So some of you out there had the balls and tits to fight these individuals legally. This is all about you standing in your corner, standing in your ground. This will be all about letting people run all over you and do all that. Uh-uh, bro. Uh-uh. Just like I've been saying lately, you have the right to freedom of speech. You have the right to your constitutional rights. You have the right to your civil rights. You have the right to your Miranda rights. But they also have the right to answer questions because I'm going to tell you right now when it comes to the law, I'm going to give you a little bit of legal advice. OK, when it comes to the law, they have to answer your questions. They have to. You have the. That's why your Miranda rights protect you, because that's the right of silence. Correct. But yet you have your right to freedom of speech, which is also on a federal level. When it comes to the right to freedom of speech, you have the right to ask them questions. That would be considered in the lines of freedom of speech. But yet when it comes to them, see, that's where you can protect yourself on a federal level right there. By executing your right to freedom of speech, but no one went to execute your Miranda. That would be the right to remain silent. Because think about it. If you was to say anything while being questioned, wouldn't that be used against you in a court of law? But yet, in order to combat that, that's where you flip the script and you question them, especially when they're doing something wrong. Just like I said, bro, if you know your rights, you can challenge it to the extreme and you will win. You will win. If you really look at these individuals on YouTube that stand up to these individuals, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. The, the, the most they would do is say, we sorry, sir. We're sorry, ma'am. Some of them may continuously stand their ground and cuss them out or whatever. I don't believe in none of that. But all it takes is just a verbal adjustment. All it takes is just for you to continuously stand up and literally call things out or what they're in violation of. And I promise you, they'll leave you alone. Because if you do this long enough, bro, eventually they're going to be like, man, we ain't screwing with that person. The best thing they could do, I'm not going to say go mess with somebody else. But if that's what they want to do, bro, they cannot mess with you. These individuals cannot screw with you because you're way too powerful. And you're not doing anything in the, against the law when it comes to that either. You were literally calling out things that were against the law or what they was doing. Which was a violation on federal level here. That some of you out there, just like I've been saying, this is an ongoing situation that is finally coming to an end. Because of you having to stand up against the injustice of somebody doing something wrong when it regards to this. 
with the just and reverse. That's something that's not balanced. It's not fair. This is not fair at all. And yet you as one person come up, coming up against all these individuals. That's definitely not fair. And yet you are somebody that's not going to be silenced while standing up and protecting yourself either. Because that is indeed your right to freedom of speech. You have the right to not remain silent in this situation. You have the right to execute your freedom of speech to the extreme and literally call everything out, grab it in thin air, and take and disarm these individuals of what they've been trying to do violations on. So a lot of you out there, but just like I said, you're not the only one out there that has had to stand up and protect yourself. And of course, they may have some attorneys out there that can protect you. Let me tell you something right now how the law sees you because they watch you with the page of swords. They may be watching you stand hard in your power. And they know themselves that they made a bad investment because you had to bring it to their awareness. You had to stand hard enough in your power, even though they kept on and kept on and kept on. Maybe they was testing you. Maybe this was a test. Because I'm going to tell you right now, bro, if they know that they can walk all over somebody, you know what they're going to do? They're going to continue to try to do it. They're going to continue to, not all of them going to do that. But the ones that are used to doing this to people, you was the right one. And they challenged, and yet you challenge them right back. Seven one, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You're going to treat me fairly. You ain't going to be treating me unfairly with the Six of Pentacles reverse. You, you ain't going to be allowing somebody to come around me whenever they lie. That's what some of you out there are calling out. Like whoever was continuously scamming and putting out false tips and stuff like that up on your person, you know damn well you was innocent throughout this whole situation. And that's what you're standing up against. You may be a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra. Some of y'all there may be a Libra that could have had to stand up. An Aries. It's like these individuals finally understand what they're up against. They're up against a magician and the emperor. These, these are the most two powerfulest cards in the tarot. You know your rights, bro. You know your rights because everything that I've ever called out in my reads or if you are one that knows your rights, this can be literally seen written in ink in the law book. There's a such thing as statute of limitations. There's a such thing as when it comes to a certain amount of hours it takes for warrants and stuff like that. But yeah, just like I said before, see, I'm somebody that's going to get down to the bottom of a situation when it comes to this. These individuals could have been quick to take witness statements. And they believe that the more people that are involved that write something down about you, that can be believed. So that right there would be reasonable suspicion, but it's not enough probable cause because there's no weight of evidence to actually prove something. All it is is by word of mouth. But if once you combine all these individuals together, that right there can get it to reasonable suspicion. But here's my thing. When it comes to your whereabouts, when it comes to your receipts, when it comes to you and certain statute of limitations on a situation, and when it comes to certain things that was done to you that was unfair, that right there, this will make all of these character witnesses or whoever this is, witness statements, lose all credibility. Because of simply your documentation, your receipts on your whereabouts, where you was, and the statute of limitations. But this right here, this situation right here holds no statute of limitations because it holds zero power. There's no case here. There's no case here that they tried to get on you. It was an illusion because of somebody simply taking down false witness statements here. And yet you have enough probable cause more than witness statements because of what you're doing with your job here. Because just like I said, do they have a video of you doing something? Question that. That would be the only way to try to prove something that these, these individuals are indeed right. Do they have a video of you doing something? Bruh, things can literally be manipulated on the media these days. Do they have a video of you doing something? I guarantee they don't. And if some of these individuals literally said, oh, we have this, you are somebody that will literally challenge them. Show me then. 
Show me what you got on me. Show me the video. They will try to literally intimidate you to try to get you to admit to something. Just like when they say, well, we'll let you go if you say you're sorry. Say sorry for what? When you apologize, you in a mission of guilt right there on the spot. You don't apologize for shit. You stand up for yourself. As I say, if anybody going to be apologizing, it's going to be you and the rest of you that try to come up against me. One person that knows that they right. With the seven of wands here. Man, I ain't falling for none of those traps because that's all that it is. That's what the interrogation room is all about. Especially when you know that you're innocent. That's the way I look at the situation. This is what most people don't look at. But this is not about being angry at the law or none of that. I just get very passionate whenever I speak about this because I know I'm telling the truth. Check this, check this out. This is something for them to also gain awareness on too. When it comes to somebody that is voluntarily invited to go to the station, the minute somebody shows up, that is an admission of guilt right there. That's the way I look at it. Because if you know you ain't did anything wrong, why show up to the station to start with? And you also have the right to decline the interview because that's what they want to try to do. They want to get you in the interrogation room, ask you all kind of questions. And yet, why do they have that say in anything that you say can and will be used against you in the court of law? But yet you have the right to walk out whenever. Why even go up there in the first place? Because the minute you show up there and walk through the doors without an attorney and you don't know your rights, you are basically putting yourself and a situation where it's going to be harder to get out of. Whenever you know you are indeed innocent, don't even show up. That's the way that some of you out there could have handled this situation because you simply know your rights. Why they can't prove something right there at the spot whenever they're at your house. That right there, bro, is catching these individuals up at something right here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And just like I said before, some of you actually have cameras that caught this individual trying to investigate you on your property. They couldn't give you they couldn't give you no information. But the expression on the detective or investigator's face while they was trying to investigate you to get you to go up to the station was very, very shady. When you asked them a question, that's also been documented down on audio recording too, for some of you out there. This is what they're scared of, bro. I'm telling you, you got a lot of people wishing that they never did this to you. Because of you continuously standing up for yourself. And guess what? That's not against the law either. It's perfectly fine to have your property surrounded by surveillance cameras, even if they're secret surveillance cameras. Even if they're like that, it don't matter. That's your property. You pay the rent there. You, you, if some of you out there, you could be renting a house, rent to own home. That's what I'm getting. Or no matter where you at, if you pay the rent, you pay the lights, that's your property. That's your property. That's your property. You have the right to have, even if it's secret surveillance, secret audio recording. That's your property. And guess what? The same thing with your vehicle because it's an extension of your home. You have the right to have your vehicle laced, like not laced, but rigged with secret surveillance cameras. That's pinhole. I know I do. Oh, yeah. Simple as that. I don't play. And just like I said, bro, there's nothing against the law about any of what I just said. You have the right to rig your vehicle up because you are the owner of that vehicle. The, how can I say this? The registration and whatever else is in your name. That's your vehicle. That's your property. You pay for it, right? You pay for it. That's your property. That's yours. It belongs to you. You could do any damn thing that you want with it. Especially when in regards to camera equipment. Whatever you want to do. That's your right. Now, they do indeed have the laws where you can't put certain lights like bright lights and stuff like that. But when it comes to you having cameras in your car... Why you think they invented dash cam? That's a camera. Exactly my point. It don't matter if they can't see it. It don't matter if they can't see it. That's your vehicle. That's your vehicle. Just like your house. It don't matter if they can't see the cameras inside your house or outside your house. 
Some of you out there has gotten smart and rigged your whole property up with secret surveillance cameras. Even to the ones that they can see. They can see some of the cameras. But it's the ones that they can't see or what are watching too. That right there is what has them, bro. I'm telling you, you got this situation. You got this situation cornered, bro. They have no choice but to just put this, bury the hatchet. Let it go and bury the hatchet, bro. Because I'm telling you right now, you done caught on to something right here. And you have literally had to come up against all these individuals that have did this to you. Also to the ones that have lied to the law on you. That has gotten them to abuse their power against you. And it's like maybe some of these individuals was used of other people not standing up for themselves. And yet they would automatically surrender. They would be quick to answer questions. Miranda Wright. Miranda Wright. Miranda Wright. And you don't have to be rude about it either. Okay? Be respectful. Be professional. You don't have to cuss them out like other people out there on YouTube do. I don't believe in that. Okay, I mean, well, if you're angry enough, if they did something to piss you off like that, then yeah, you have every right. That's considered freedom of speech right there. Profanity is not illegal. You just speak in your mind, especially when you're frustrated. Just like that guy did whenever they uh, they handcuffed the wrong person, that video that I shared. He was upset about that because they put their hands on him. And yet it was the wrong person the whole time. I can agree to that man doing that. But when it comes to a situation like this, bro, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Don't ever be afraid that this is going to get you in trouble because it's not. It's not. Why do you think that you have rights? Why do you think that you have rights? It don't matter if you're a spiritual person or not. I'm going to say it like I said it before. You are somebody that deserves to be treated equally. Because people out there want to push for equal rights and all that, right? So if it's like that, that right there could be used to your advantage because it don't matter if you're a female or a male. You deserve to be treated equally by any law enforcement agency in the U.S. Or I don't know if you're located in the U.K., wherever you're located at. You deserve to be treated equally by your local government agency, your local law enforcement government agency. You deserve to be treated fairly. By them. It don't matter what agency it is. What gives them the right to try to sit there and act like you ain't got no rights? You do have rights. You do have rights and you will execute them. Simple as that. Some of you out there could have had to stand hard for yourself. Your attorney wasn't going to do anything. And I'm getting that you're more experienced and well more advanced than the local attorneys. That makes it even better. Because that's just a waste of money right there. For what? When you can protect yourself? That's how, that's how I look at the situation. Just like I said before, but I don't know how some people was raised out there, but ain't nobody going to punk me out. I don't care who it is. I don't care what type of situation it is. If I know somebody trying to do something wrong to me, I'm going to call that shit out right there on the spot. I'm going to challenge it. I'm going to stand hard in this energy right here. I'm going to say, this is what it is. This is what it is. You ain't about to do nothing to me. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to stand up and protect my family. I'm going to protect my rights. I'm going to protect my right to freedom of speech. I'm going to protect my civil rights. I'm going to protect my constitutional rights. I'm going to call it out exactly for what it is. If you got a problem with that, just you're just going to have to have a problem. But I'm going to be the solution to it because ain't nobody going to push me in a corner or back me down or try to say, oh, well, this is that. Well, that's what they want. It's like I said before, I don't care what they want. It's about what it is. And since you wanted to try to challenge me, I'm going to come back at you and I'm going to challenge you even harder with the seven of wands here because that's exactly what it is. You ain't going to be trying to bully me. You're not going to be trying to do anything to me when it comes to my rights and when it comes to the spiritual law too because I know exactly what I'm talking about because if I didn't, I wouldn't even open my mouth. Simple as that. Some of these individuals ain't used to, to, to somebody standing up like that. You can punk out somebody else. They ain't punking out me. Simple as that. I'm proud to have that person out there. I'm proud of that. And it's not that I'm a person that's in the ego. 
I just, when I had enough, bro, I had enough. When I had enough, I had enough. And when I know I'm telling the truth, I'm going to stand hard on it too. Ain't, no God, ain't nobody going to abuse me. Ain't nobody going to abuse me, bro. Ain't going to happen. I don't need nobody to help me out. I got myself. I got God with me, two guys before me. And God will definitely, most definitely provide me the information spiritually. And I will counter combat those attacks each and every way as possible. And I'll snatch that shit right out your hand. I'll snatch it right there out of thin air, bro. Before you can blink an eye, I have that shit caught with the magician here. But anyways, this is what I have for the read. And this is something right here that, that's uh, coming to an end. So there's a situation right here that's coming to an end. But anyways, let's go ahead and get a closing message. Closing message for the collective. Yeah, you're protected here. Four pentacles, you're protected because the truth has came out. You're simply protected because of your truth. This is protection. If some of you out there have a public platform, you're protected because the truth has came out. The truth has came out. And if some of you out there thought you was going to be in trouble for executing your right to freedom of speech, you're not. You're not. You, your position of this platform has protected you with the Ace of Swords here. You also have people that's following you on your platform that is protecting you too. That sees where you're coming from. This is people that have the power to hold badges or credentials. So some of these individuals have credentials that will represent not just a badge, but you have to read something so that will represent an agent. That would be the FBI agent. You may have four of them that support you here. Even though you may not be able to see these people, because if you look at this individual, you can't see these agents protecting you or supporting you. But believe it or not, bro, you have a lot of them on your side. That's rooting you on. As I say, you get it, get it, get it, get it. Because everything that you went through, they're against it too. And if you was doing something wrong, which you're indeed not, even if you speak the raw truth and it comes across as cutting and slicing, there's nothing against the law about it. What are you going to do? Tell them, oh, oh, well, they, they speaking the truth and, you know, they're cussing a lot. You know, you know what they're going <laughs> to you don't say them. You, you know what they're going to do? Well, it's not against YouTube terms and services. What you want us to do about it? That's what they would say. What? What? <laughs> it looked like to me you concerned for a reason, huh? They would start questioning them that try to question your truths. That's the way I'm looking at the situation. Okay, well, you must be awful guilty trying to trying to act like this individual is attacking you. Nah, nah, they're standing up for themselves because of people trying to attack them. But yet you're awful guilty of trying to make something out to be a problem when this individual is indeed doing the right thing. What is it that you have to hide? Why you got a problem with this individual speaking their truth? That's the way they would look at it. I'll tell you, but not everybody out there is going to be your enemy, especially when it comes to the law. They may also have other sheriffs out there that may not be part of your jurisdiction that are literally sub to your platform and support you. I had other sheriffs out there that support me. They came on my channel a long time ago. Said, dude, you're on point. I had several of them from different jurisdictions that supported me. That's what I try to tell y'all, bro. I'm not against the law. I'm not a law enforcement basher. 
because I've been treated fairly by other ones out there that are cool, you know. I've even gotten pulled over by some that let me go. I'm telling you, but not all of them out there are bad. Not all of them out there are going to take the bad rep just because somebody else does it. Just like the Zodiac Time Scorpio. People have something negative to say about Scorpio all the time. You think I'm going to sit there and go on these videos and back myself up? I'm not. Because it's never defined by a Zodiac sign. It's about the character. It's about the character. Now, could it be a coincidence that, that, that people that dated a Scorpio or come across a Scorpio that was in their Scorpio stage have gotten stung because of their manipulative nature? That can be a strong possibility. Okay? But everybody has their dark side. But Scorpio could be considered a darker zodiac sign because of them being the gods and goddesses of the underworld. That right there is something I can understand because some of us out there has had to go through that stage of being manipulative and stuff like that a long time ago. You know, when it comes to emotional manipulation, like you ain't getting your way or whatever, or, 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 or you literally sit there, but you have to heal that. You have to heal those wounds in order to evolve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was funny what I said about this. I, I keep, I look down at that and it made me laugh because that's exactly what it is. What do you want us to do about it? It's like, let me, you guilt. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guilty, you know what I'm saying? Sorry to me, you guilty. You you got a problem with somebody speaking their truth. Sorry to me, you guilty. You guilty. What what you been doing? <laughs> guilty. <laughs> Bro, you know what I'm saying? That's what he gonna do. What he gonna do next? Sit there and get mad at you speaking the truth. They was already mad long enough. What what they gonna do, bro? Sit there like they on a toilet or something? It's like the truth is very constipating to some people. It's like they can't handle hearing it, but yet they need to hear it anyway. <laughs> this is literally somebody like this. <laughs> like that. And they <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you, you you better ease. You know what I'm saying? You better ease up a little bit because you're looking like a hot air balloon that just won't stop expanding like that. You know what I'm saying? You better let that shit loose, bro. You know what I'm saying? You better let it loose. Open your mouth. Breathe. Whoo! You know what I'm saying? Whoo! Sigh. Better let it breathe. You know what I'm saying? Open your mouth or something. Open. You know what I'm saying? Breathe through. You know. Breathe through your nose or something. I mean, damn. <laughs> I definitely see a lot of you out there, bro. Your platform, like your success... And everybody else that may be commenting on your platform and supporting you, they are seeing that a lot of people has been going through this situation too. It's not just you that was lied on. It's not just you that was lied on or went through some type of abuse of power. It's not just you. It's not just you. But this is the closing message. The truth has came out. Clarify Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles here. For the closing message. Your home is protected too here. Yeah, the Four of Wands here. I'm seeing them leave you alone completely. 44 said they're going to leave you alone completely. This is in regards to a couple trying to attack you with the lovers reverse. So something about your home is protected with the four of wands and the four of pentacles. So I'm getting like the truth has been seen on your platform. And as much as these individuals hate it to admit to it, they actually appreciate you standing in your power. That's what I'm getting. 
But other than that, bro, even if they don't support you, it don't matter. You still gonna stand hard in your truth. I mean, if you was if you didn't know what you was talking about, why would you have all these followers too? That's something else the law may be seeing. Like, okay, well, if they was uh if they wasn't smart or intelligent or knew what they was talking about, I see them talking amongst themselves. I bet this person knows what they talking about. Like, if they didn't know what they was doing, they wouldn't even have that position. Why, why potentially go against them? But anyways, y'all, this is what I have for y'all read. This will not resonate with everybody. Y'all take it easy out there. And once again, this is not no intimidation tactics. Like whenever I got in that energy early, I just said, I ain't going to let nobody bully me, bro. I'm not going to let somebody sit there and think that they right whenever they wrong. I will call that shit out exactly for what it is. I'm somebody that will challenge the status quo. I don't care what it is. I will challenge it. I will challenge it to the extreme. If something's being done, that's a violation of my rights. I'm going to call it out every single time. Simple as that. I'm going to protect myself. Like, even though I don't have a family, I don't have a girlfriend or whatever it is, I don't care. I'll be the same way towards them. When it comes to them and protect them. You know what I'm saying? If I had a son or whatever, I had a girlfriend, a son or whatever, like my old lady or whoever that may be, even though I don't have that, I would be the same way towards them behind. How can I say? I would be the same way for them and protect them. I'm just a very protective type of person. You know what I'm saying? I'm a quiet man. I'm very reserved. But when it comes to situations, bro, don't get my silence twisted. Don't get my silence twisted. Even though I may not be all loud and be all out there flexing and doing stuff like that, I don't have to do that. It's all right here. Just because people may not be that big on the outside and they may not have all these muscles, tattoos. I don't have not a tattoo on my body, bro. To be intimidating. It's this right here. But it's not about being intimidating to scare people. It's about all what you know. The mind power. But I'm going to tell you right now. It's the ones that are silent. It's the ones that are reserved. The ones that don't flinch when it comes to stuff like this, they can literally be out there trying to intimidate you over and over and over and over and over. Just like the helicopter, for instance. I look at them straight like this and say, bring it on. Like that. It's a violation. It's a violation. Go ahead and show yourself. When most people be like, <gasps> they start freaking out, wanting to break down, have a nervous breakdown. That's what has those activities win. But how can something be won when it's already been defeated long before it even got started? Because of incredible foresight vision. That's right here. As somebody that's grounded enough on a spiritual level to know how to counter combat the attacks and reverse every single last bit of them and defeat them. All about this right here. You don't have to use your hands. This is not about using physical motion in order to counter combat it. It's about high levels of intellectual intelligence and knowing not to react. Because when you react off an emotional impulse of response and you lose control, the enemy automatically gains the control. But when it's at a challenge like this, because it's all, this is all challenging you to see if you'll break. And this could have worked on other people, but yet when it came up to some of us out there, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is where the challenge is. And yet when it knows that it could keep pushing you and pushing you and pushing you and pushing you like that, and yet you just fall down, that would represent emotional impulse and responses. Being all depressed, feeling like you want to give up on your life. That's what that is. But when it comes to a logical, grounded, minded perspective and to look at things for what they are. As I say that. 
You just look at it for what it is. And just like I said on my other video, people get their mind blown by things that you say. Just like whenever I said on my other video, the feds watching, that's effing great. Most people be quick to panic. Why panic? Why panic? Question that, why panic? It's either because they know they did something wrong or something else. Why panic? Just like how some people get tensed up whenever they see a unit or whatever. It's just like any other car out there, any other vehicle out there. What's so intimidating by a police unit? What's so intimidating by them sitting there knowing what they're doing, but yet you already have that awareness? The minute you show signs of panic, fear, and all of that, you're not going to win. Because that those are the same vibrational frequencies that are actually lower than what they're vibrating at. And when you're at this vibration that's higher, and yet you're scoping it out from all angles like this, it's like you're circling in the situation it's like you're literally moving around them like that, like that, and you're making a whole 360 viewpoint and scoping it out just like that. Like, like you're literally just sitting around while they're trying to do that to you, but yet you flip the script and yet you're the one that's above with this analyzation right there. Like you're just looking around like that and you seeing every advantage that you have to get in a gap. That's exactly what that is. You see in every advantage that you have over these people that has tried to do that to you just by you remaining logical. Because if you was emotional, you wouldn't be react. You, you wouldn't be in the right state of mind in order to combat the activity. That's the facts. The minute you show fear, bro, the minute you execute fear or live in fear, that's the minute that that same energy will be amplified. But in order to defeat this energy is by being fearless and fiercely fighting and standing up for yourself. That's how you win. But anyways, y'all, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. If y'all want to leave any donations, I will indeed have a link in the description box below. And I will see y'all some other time. Peace.